Hi, good evening. I hope you're having a good night. It's very cold here tonight, so I'm pretty happy to be in my craft room. And I'm holding up some gorgeous paper that I'm excited to show you. Um, it's one of the celebration offerings that's coming in January. And I can't wait to show you more and what I did with it. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the stand and turn it around. Just a minute here. Sorry for the bumping around. I haven't I know what I need to do to have two cameras. I just haven't taken the time or had the time to figure it out. So how many of you know what Celebration's all about? Um, Celebration is a really fun promotion that Stampin' Up! has has always had once a year, and now they're going to twice a year. So the first celebration will be January and February, and the second one will be in Awesome. I hope you're still there. My screen went black just a minute. Okay, um, looks like we're good. Anyway, I can't wait to show you this product offering. So um, the way Celebration works is for every $50 increment, you get to pick a free product. And then there are also a couple um, choices that are uh, you need two fifty dollar credits or a hundred dollar credit to um, to get it. So you can't buy this stuff. You can only get it for free with the qualifying purchase. So this is the thing I want to show you tonight. It's really fun. The stamp set's called Berry Blessings, and the paper that goes with it is. I think called very beautiful designer series paper but this is what you get all of this with um, a qualifying purchase of a hundred dollars so I want to show you this paper because it's so pretty um, all of our paper comes 12 by 12 and in this case there's um, six design well 12 different designs and you get um, one is on the front and one's on the back so six different papers see there's the front and there's the back and you get two of each sheet and this is all with a berry theme and it's uh, a bit of a watercolor look I'll go a little closer see if you can see that it's just gorgeous these are obviously really pretty strawberries so that's that one. Set that aside. This is a little brighter one. Here's the reverse. So you can see them together. I love this gingham. It it's not a it's not like ginghams usually are. It's more of a watercolor look. And here you can see lots of different color berries. And um there's some great colors. There's Poppy Parades, the red, Rich Razzleberry, some Granny Apple Green, Shaded Spruce, Pacific Point, Misty Moonlight, Balmy Blue, and then some yellow here and there. So saffron. So it's just really fun. Here's another one. And this green check is the reverse of it. Don't you just love the shading? It's not a solid color, so that just gives you a lot of freedom with your stamping. Um, I just think it's so pretty. And here you have blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries, which are, of course, are all awesome. This was probably my favorite, although it's really hard to choose. I just, I'm really a sucker for blue. So this shows a couple different colors of blueberries. And then this great blue check. Um, colors are just so rich. Here's another. I got some scraps here from my cards that I made. Here's another one. This is more of a raspberry type image. Purple and green are such a great complementary color scheme. They always look good together. It's amazing. Green looks good with everything. Have you ever noticed? I think it's because it's the color of nature. And then here's some more raspberries. They're a little redder. And then we've got a really great leafy paper on the back of that. So that's a, a quick look at the paper. And um, the card that 
or the back that it comes with gives you all the colors in case you have any questions. And usually they're listed in the catalog too. I didn't check that, but I think they probably are. So here's the stamp set. And it's um, a photopolymer. And what you'll notice is it's two-step stamping. So you have the solid part of the leaves and then an outline. Same with these leaves. And then the blueberries and the raspberries. So I want to show you some of the things that I've done. And then I'm going to show you some of that two-step stamping. Keep that in the lay there. Say hi to me if you're online. I'll be sure and give you a shout out. Okay, here's the first one. Um, I used the blue. Like I said, that was probably my favorite. Um, there's a Pacific Point blue and then also the darker blue. And can you see the little bit of vellum here? I snuck in a half sheet of that. A little bit of the square or the checked fabric or fabric paper and then the blueberries for the background and then this is what I stamped and I used the tasteful label uh, die but I did do um, two-step stamping with this you have the blueberry stamped first in misty moonlight and then I came back with night of navy for the outline and then the leaves I just did the one step and then I I used Knight of Navy for the back, for the card base. I just thought that set it off really well. Here's another one. This is the purples and the greens. So it's Rich Razzleberry. And you can see I did the two-step stamping with the raspberry and the leaves. And I made three tags with this, which is kind of fun. Um, I wanted to, I was just trying to think of a way to get some more DSP in here and, um, just show off some more layers. So I grabbed a label punch. We have several of them. They've come and gone over the years. They retire, but we always have one that's current. And you just stick your paper in there, and it'll cut this top edge. You can see if I move the ribbon a little, you can kind of see the top edges on these match that punch. Um, my ribbon... This is the only current one. Um, this is Rich Razzleberry, by the way. Hi, Sherry. Um, these are both retired, but they are the Rich Razzleberry color. And I love to keep my ribbon. Um, I keep it by color family, so then I can always look and see what I need. Um, and I just can pull out my regals, and there's Rich Razzleberry, and I found this old one and this one, and they work perfect for this. So I just made three tags, one out of cardstock, one with a little bit of this complimentary designer series paper showing, and one that I stamped. And then I lay layered them all on here, and I have them on a granny apple green background. I just love that card. I love all these. And then this is the last one that I made. Um, this is using the, the red is Poppy Parade, which is really pretty. And I used the leaf punch and the sprig punch just to get some more layers. And I also you cut my background piece of the strawberry thing with the So Sentimental dies. So, um, I have a list here. I'll move this so you can take a picture if you need to. These are the extra tools that I used. A sprig punch, a leaf punch, the tasteful label dies, and the so sentimental dies. And they were this this die and this die. And I used a little bit of ribbon. You could fancy this up some more, but um, I just really liked I liked all of these. This one didn't have any berry stamping on it. I just used the sentiment as all. So I want to show you real quick how to do. The two-step stamping because some of you maybe haven't done that before or you have questions about it so I'm gonna use this as a piece of scratch paper and I'm gonna uh, I think intuitively you would want to start with the outline part of the steps but I'm having better luck lately with starting with the inside so um, that's what I'm going to show you 
I've got Granny Apple Green here. I have this big leaf design. And I'm going to stamp it just like that. So then I can come back and put some blueberries on it. Oops. Okay, there's that. Then I'm going to come back. Did I tell you that was Granny Apple Green? I think I did. Then I'm going to come back with the outline stamp. Sorry for the noise. Got to get the cellophane off of there. Okay, done with the Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to grab Garden Green. So you can see that my outline is going to be darker. But it shouldn't overwhelm it. And it's kind of in the same... Um, it's got a similar yellow-ish feature to it. So now I just have to line this up. Sometimes you can stand up. And I just kind of move it around and see where I think it'll be great. You could also use your Stamparatus. Hi, Christine. See? Doesn't that do a great job? Um, I want to show you how easy this is even without the Stamparatus. So um, to demonstrate uh, the berries, I'm going to use a little different color scheme than I did on my card. I'm going to use Pacific Point for the actual berries. And so I want this one to be on that stem and this one to be on that stem. So I'm looking, 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 looking. Looks like that'll work about right. These are distinctive stamps. It's a, it's a carving style. So it isn't a solid, um, it's, it's a shaded look when you stamp, which I just love. And then I'll come back and do the outline berries with Knight of Navy. You can see on the card, I used two dark blues and I, I didn't think for demonstrating this that that would show off very well. So I switched to the Pacific Point. Now this is the outline piece. I have to line these up. I just kind of shift them around so I get a really good feel for where the stamping is. Then I kind of settle down and go in. So, what do you think? Doesn't that look pretty? And that is how easy it is to do two sets, two step stamping. And the raspberries are the same way. And you have a, a top that you could use for a raspberry. You could also hook the leaves to them like I did in this card. Um, but anyway, and there's some great sentiments on here. So it's just a really fun uh, set. And again, you can't buy this. It's free with a $100 purchase. It's one of the redemptions during celebration. So you get the paper pack and you get the stamp set. And then what's really cool is there's also a berry themed product in the um, mini catalog, January through June mini catalog. It's mostly strawberries and it includes a punch and um, a stamp set. So I'm going to show you that another time. Uh, I'm just trying to give you some sneak peeks at what's coming with Celebration. It's always a great time and it's really fun to have it happen right after Christmas. So there you can see what I did tonight and these other cards. So I'll put these on my blog. I'll give you more um, directions with them. I won't give you product information until after celebration starts, which is January 5th. But thank you for joining me tonight. It was fun to show you this. I'm super excited about this stamp set. It's really, really fun. And you just have to see the paper in person. It is gorgeous. So thanks a bunch for stopping by. We'll see you next time.